What's up, everybody? Stop having Welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl. Last time, we started our journey on Victory Road, had a tough time in the cave that I'm currently standing outside of. This time, we're going to be continuing on and hopefully reaching the end of it. Victory Road is massive, tons of items, and tons of trainers. So let's just get on with it. No wasting time here. There's an item down here. Max Elixir. We're going to need that. Now, <laughs> I do not remember my playthrough at Victory Road as well as I probably should, which is bad. But that's okay. We're going to figure it out. That cave up there leaves to nowhere. We figured that out last time. It's not going to help us. We need to figure out where to go, though, because so far we have not figured that out. And uh, I don't know what to do, so we're going to figure it out as we go, I guess. So there should be an item right here. There's probably not. All right. Um. Yeah, yeah. We'll be fine. Go up the rocks again. Like I said, I don't know what to do at this point because there's nowhere actually to go from here. So if we go back here, there's a, there's that rock way over there. There's this one right here, which is how you get up here. And then that leads over here, which is just the, the exit. As you can see down there, there's no way to actually go so far. But we're going to figure this out. I have repels to last me days, hopefully. So we're going to get through it. Don't worry. So can I just, like, not? Is there not a way down there? See, this is the part I'm confused about because I don't know what to do at this point. Because I don't know how you move on from this. See, I got my notes open, guys. Oh my gosh, my tablet's like glitching out. Great. Okay, apparently there is a pathway led from A. Okay, we're gonna figure that out, I guess. So we gotta go over here, go down. Nope, wait, we gotta go up. I'm so lost right now. I've wasted, like, already this entire recording, obviously. Just doing this. <laughs> and wasting my repels, which I don't need to be doing. Because, like I said, I've got repels for days, but that doesn't mean I have them forever. <laughs> gotta go up here and go back toward the... Yes, I would like to do that. Just happy I don't have to select a new one every single time I want to do one. <laughs> so if we go up here... Okay, we were here last time. We remember this. I don't know if we went this way last time. I think we went that other way for that item. So these boulders we can move. Yes. Another another thing is I have to watch this every single time. I don't have to like I exit the room. Why can't I just do it again? Like do I? Why do I have to do it again? That's my question. Trainer that I don't want to battle. That led me down a, a meaningless pathway. Okay. <laughs> Great to know, game. Great to know. Okay. So that's not the way we need to be going. This way is, which means I'm going to have to battle him, I think. No, I don't. <laughs> I think I messed up already. Possibly. I'm gonna have to reset the room. Great. <laughs> Game, I don't like you sometimes. I get Victory Road supposed to be like a strength puzzle, puzzle sliver, don't die to your enemies kind of thing. But the point is, I'm trying to complete this. <laughs> Not you stuck here forever. So yeah, you go out of the room and resets it. You gotta do this whole HM thing again, which is stupid, but whatever. Got the items that we needed last time. So we're gonna go ahead and move. I have to do this again. This is an annoying game. Pokemon obviously didn't learn from their mistakes. Also based on something on the fact that half the gyms are stupid. <laughs> Maylene's gym, they shouldn't have changed it. They should have kept the little puzzle with the, the punching bags and the tires. Uh, they messed up Fantina's in the original game. Okay. Do that. Do this. Go around. Start breaking this rock. No, I messed up again, dang it. I'm so lost at this point. I know what to do, I just didn't do it. As far as I'm concerned, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, move through here. Again, game. Don't make your same mistakes twice, which you obviously did with this game. Going on a rant while I'm trying to solve a strength puzzle, which is stupid. The puzzle meant for five-year-olds. I could sell this as a kid, but I couldn't sell it as a 19-year-old person. Great. That makes perfect sense, you know? 
So move these, these to sample. I know how to do this. <laughs> Not saying any straightforward, that doesn't count. Great. I gotta look at this for a sec. Yep, he's required. That makes sense. All right. Oh, one lead tells me you're a real contender. I'm not a real contender. I'm just trying to solve a strength puzzle, dude, and I did not intend to battle you. Ace Trainer Omar is stuck in Victory Road. Rapidash. Oh, do I have a water? Who do I have out front? I think I have a rock type. Is it Electivire? Yep, it's Electivire. Okay, let's go. Use those. You Use the rock slide that I taught you. Rock slide. Super effective, and I'm going to go first because I'm an Electric type. Electric types are generally fast. All right, Rapidash is down. Why do I record these battles? I shouldn't. You know what? We'll skip to the end of it because I don't want to waste your time. All right, guys, we're back. I figured it out. You move this boulder up, then if it'll. The heck? There we go. I don't know why it wouldn't let me go. Then you break this rock, and you push this one down so you can go this way. There we go. I don't want to battle this trainer, but I'm probably gonna have to, aren't I? I'm not wasting your time again. I'll be back after this battle. The Total Stranger will be a good way to see if it takes the owns of Pokemon Leagues at Leap 4, the strongest trainers in Sinnoh. Alright guys, we're back, and that battle was over. It took a little bit longer than it should have, but that's okay. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do, according to this map that I have. Because you have to do one of these, and you have to come back and do it late, the other one later. See, because you push this, and then you can't get out that way. No! Okay. I'm fine with that. I'll be back again after this. Alright, we beat that. Now we can go down off of floor... Oh, oh gosh, I got the pick up. Floor B, great. Alright, now we're on this, this, this part of the victory road where we go down here. <coughs> oh, gosh. I'll be back when this is... Alright, guys, we're back on Shining Pearl. Uh, that made no sense. I know it didn't. It's not supposed to. We're going to continue on, though. Item down here. Oh, I don't know. Is there? No, there's not so far. And that wall, we cannot climb, but we have to fight this guy. Who do I want to put in the front? You know what, Liberty? You haven't got much fight, and I think he's a fighting type guy. So we're, you're going to do great. Just just do it. Why am I pressing that? Fight this dude. And Victory Road person. My Pokemon knows karate. I'm warning you. It's a tough one. Also, one of those eight dice trainer we fell back there to Torterra. If you pick one of the other starters, that's your way to see. He has one Pokemon. My champ. The fully evolved version of my shop. The one you have to evolve. You have to trade evolution. Well, Liberty's a psychic type, so he's gonna school him. Take him to school, Liberty. Teach him about the statue. Alright. I'm not gonna use Future Psych because I think this is gonna take a one shot. Extra Sensory. 90 power psychic move. Yeah. Future Sight is 120 power, I think, but it takes two turns to activate. So you use Future Sight and then. Land a critical hit. You use Future Sight, and then uh, two turns later, the Pokemon takes the Future Sight attack. So it's a very popular combo with the move Dig, which Liberty cannot know, but yeah, Omega's level 48, Cyberdick's level 49. I also got Cyberdick fully evolved into Porygon Z and gave it the choice specs. That boosts special attack, but locks me into one move. Black Belt Miles is defeated. I'm at my match in strength. 1372 for winning. Alright, now we go down here to this path. All right, um, it says right here. Oh no, wrong path. I'm sorry. I'm look, I have the right path open. I don't have the right. I'm looking at the wrong part of it. <laughs> All right, keep on going. Do 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 do. Where am I supposed to go from here? I can't jump that. I think I have to know where I need. I think I have. I know where I need to go though. This is a required, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Psychic versus Psychic. I can see the past. You can? You sure about that? Why would you... I can see the past. Isn't that like... That's really weird. Psychic's usually tingling. Psychic's usually predict the future, which to me makes no sense. Okay. <laughs> that makes... That's fine with me. Liberty is awaiting my directions. Extrasensory. I don't know why I didn't use future side there. Never mind. <laughs> flinched and couldn't move. <laughs> okay, now that we have that, we use Future Sight. I foresaw an attack. <laughs> I 
did three damage. Why do you have a Chingling on Victory Road? It should have evolved by now. Flash Cannon. Boom. Yes, you're done for. That, yeah, see, that's why Chingling is horrible, unless you evolve it. Chime Echo. Oh, so you do have a Chime Echo. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Even if they do switch out, it still counts as a future site, so keep that in mind. We we'll just use Flash Cannon again. I landed a critical hit, okay. Thank you, Liberty, for doing that. Extra sensory on me. I'm a psychic type. I don't understand it. There we go. Future side took effect. And that was the plan. Let's go. Alright. Why am I not cutting these out? I'm wasting my time. I have limited time here. Psychic Valencia. There's just so much in your past. There is a lot. We've gone through, what, 42 episodes at this point? And this is how we're doing so far. I have to swim around you. This is dumb. <laughs> Yes, I would like to surf. Now, if we go over here, there's a trainer over there. We don't actually have to battle them, though, because there's not something out there that we need. Oh, I need to use Waterfall. I thought that was me doing that. They brought, I'm, why, why couldn't you say the wild bro, not oh wild? That makes no sense. Okay. That trainer right there, I'm guaranteeing you, is a battle required one. But there's, a, there's something down here that I would like. Alright, Team 59 Dragon Pulse. I don't think I have anyone that can learn that. If I do, I think I know who I want to teach it to if they can learn it. I'm not entirely sure. But if we go down here, it's a 95 power, 100%. The target is attacked with a shockwave generated by the user's gaping mouth. Yeah, I don't have a dragon type on my team, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, This person up here is a dragon master, though. Dragon is weak to ice, and I think... I don't know what else dragon is weak to. I think it's just ice and other dragon types. So this is a required one, though, I bet. But we have to battle them to move on. I'll be back in just a second. I'm making an already strong Pokemon grow even stronger. I need your help with this. Alright guys, we're back. We defeated the Dragon Master, surfed around him, and now we're on this path. There is something right here, though, that I want. Big Mushroom. We can sell that. <laughs> we missed an item. I think I'm going to go back for it. <laughs> we'll get it. Don't worry. We're get, we, got, we already took out everyone except for one, which means we don't have to actually do anything. Just go around them. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just, like, extend that path. No, I did, actually. I just don't use legendaries on my team because, number one, they're OP. Number two, it doesn't seem... I mean, like, that, that's not fun to me. Like, in reality, that isn't fun to me. Like, would you really just want to always win a battle, like, with one move? And then not be able to use that move for, like, the rest of the game? No, you don't. <laughs> you found a pearl. Yes, I did. There's a double battle up there, but I don't... I know I, I know I love double battles, but I'm not looking to do that right now. I'm just looking to get through this. No, I haven't done no, I'm not going that way. That's the that's for sure. <laughs> We're gonna go up here. Go through here. Use waterfall. Go over to the other side. Yes, I would. We're not gonna go down there because we don't need to this time. Now we are here. I already picked up the big mushroom so we can advance. Over to E. <laughs> Alright, go this way. Veteran right there. Uh, I have to battle him if I want to show items. <laughs> Alright, I can sense that your Pokemon have a lot of trust in you. You and your Pokemon, you seem to be a glow. Well, my Pokemon do trust me. I'll be back after this battle, though. Alright, guys, we're back. Now that we've done that, we can progress. <laughs> Walk slow, because I don't want to do this stupid. <laughs> Go up here. Yes, I would. Up here takes us to this path over here. And there's this small thing we can do right here. Strength puzzles. Fun, right? Well, this one's actually pretty easy. Hoto Kuba, the game from Mario Party 5. Don't fail me now. Okay, move that one that one then we can move up and then with that oh, that's pretty simple team 79 dark pulse i don't know if i have anyone that can learn that i'm gonna find out right now 
Like I said, Victory Road is chock full of items. There is so many items here. Dark Pulse, AD Power, Dark Move. Maruga and Cyber Nuke can learn it. The problem is, I don't really need those moves. Cyber Nuke has Sleep Talk. Oh, I also taught you Omega uh, Rest off camera and gave it a berry so it can, you know, you know, not do that. It was, so the berry helps it wake up naturally from sleep. So we're fine right now. Okay, now we need to continue on. Let's see, where do we need to go from here? Need to figure out where this one is real quick. Okay, we have to go back to the water cave, unfortunately. <laughs> because after this, we have to go, well actually we need to go over here and grab one more item. Then we go through the water cave, grab one last item, and then we can end this. <laughs> We'll be at the end of Victory Road. Razor Claw, you use that to evolve Gligar into Gliscor and Sneasel into Weavile by evolving them at night. And, uh, yes, by raising them one level. So, yeah. Alright, back down to the water area. Okay, where do we need to go? Okay, figured it out. One last trip down the water before we end off this grand grand victory road adventure go through here there's that dragon master we actually need to not go down this waterfall but the other one there's this double battle over here I was talking about where I grabbed the pearl at Oh yes, let's go. That was a nick of time too. All right, go over here. There's this staircase that's just kind of off to the side, and this leads us to that one room that we could not see earlier. All right, rare candy, raise Pokemon by one level. We now have two of those. We've even used those in our adventure. And Max Revive. Now we can go back through here we have to avoid those trainers again. I'm pretty sure because there's actually no way back. Yeah, we have to avoid those trainers again. I don't even know who's in the front. I think it's Electivire and Sir. No, is it Bronzong and Torterra? Probably so. Okay, now that they're over there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Surf over here. Surf over here. Yes. The Druid is long and daunting, but lots of helpful items, guys. Keep this in mind when you do this. <laughs> back up the staircase that we should have already taken and if we go through here and go let's see this way this time not jumping over that fence and doing this all over again I want to grab one last item that, that I want to grab what that guy is blocking right there that guy how do we get down to that area exactly? Is that right here? No, it's on the other side of that veteran. Okay. They didn't explain that. <laughs> Tall jump the fence. Don't need to do that. Alright. Go up here. All the way over to here. That Dragon Master, I'm guaranteeing you, is required. Let me size you up. You're going to become even tougher. You'll meet many, many Pokemon. That's why you should be thinking. Eventually, your world will grow even larger. He will not allow you to move on until you have the National Dex, but I don't even know what's on the other side of him, so. Anyway, go through here, go back around. I don't know why they didn't just put a path where that rock climb thing is. That makes no sense. I don't I get the victory road supposed to be daunting and long and supposed to be able to, you know, test your ability to puzzle solve and all that. Dang, okay, so he is required top level trainers gather around this place naturally I'd go so far as to call it the ideal place to train with the best you're not wrong but I'm gonna skip your battle anyway all right guys we're back after that battle and we are done here we've done it guys we have beaten victory road here we are the Pokemon League Pokemon League ahead we're good we're good Okay, 
guess I would like to reverse it. Do we have a battle coming up? I don't know. I'm gonna buy a ton of items anyway because of that. So what do we what do we have in here that I missed? Oh, there it is, a razor claw. <laughs> yeah, increases the holder's critical hit ratio as well. So bag, I need to go to the medicine pocket because I don't know if we have a rival battle coming up or not. I'm gonna buy a ton of these anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use them. I'm gonna use my moon milk for the rest of it. All right, now that everyone's healed up except for their power points, we go through the Pokemon League. Get a cool shot of it. <laughs> Here we are guys, next time on Pokemon Shining Pearl, we're going to be buying everything we need, healing up a Pokemon, and taking on the first Elite Four member. See you guys then.